Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys how to crimp your hair with this crimper and show you guys some little extra hairstyles that you can do with crimping your hair as well. But this is just a quick little easy tutorial on how I've been wearing my hair recently and I have been extremely loving this new style. So stay tuned if you guys are interested. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you could please. Alrighty guys, so I have been recently so into crimping my hair, curling my hair, whatever you want to call it, um, with the new three barrel curler. You may have seen it all over TikTok and after I saw it on TikTok, I could not resist. I had to buy one. Here is the three barrel curling iron. I get it right off of Amazon and I'll link it down below in the description box, the exact one, but it is under 30 bucks. It is in Celsius, so you have to keep that in mind. It flips either up to the highest setting or down to the lowest setting. You can't adjust it to anything in between, but it's 210 Celsius. Don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. And 180 Celsius on the bottom there. So I always flip mine to the 210 Celsius because, well, while burning my hair. This is what my hair looks like just after washing it and drying it last night. Um, you probably do want to start off with more straight hair. If you have curly hair, I would probably try to like crank it out with like a brush to try to get out some of that curl. And I am going to put a little bit of spray in my hair before we start crimping it. So I am using one of my favorite, favorite hairsprays here. It's more like a texturizing spray. It's by Sexy Hair and it's the texture, Sexy Hair Sunny Vibes Texturizing Spray Gel. I love this because it's not like a hard hold hairspray or anything like that. It just helps give enough hold where, you know, doing a look like this, it is a more texturized look. It will help with holding your style. Just gonna put some of that in there. So I'm just sectioning off my hair in thirds. Um, you can do this however you like, depending on how much hair that you have. I'm just facing the crimper away from my face and then doing it this way here and just holding it for a little bit. The nice part about this crimper is that it honestly just works if you take big sectioning, small sectioning. Uh, sometimes I'm just lazy and in a rush and just grab random sections, but this one is really nice. So I don't know, I just hold it on there like 20, 30 seconds, let it go just like that. I don't even touch it, don't even mess with it. The key is just getting it away from your face. Oh, so I will show you guys on this section here. It'll be easier to tell because it's not the back of my head. Um, how I like to leave out the ends of my hair so it gives a more sh like texturized look, but also straight. So I'm just clamping it right like this and holding out the ends. The key to this is holding out the ends and I do this when I curl my hair with a curling iron too. I leave out an inch of my ends. Obviously there's like about two inches of my hair hanging out right now. So I'm just gonna hold this for about 30 seconds and then I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more and make sure to hold out these ends just like that. So there's just at least a little bit of ends straight at the end here. That will help give like a curly but straight look, like a very beachy, messy vibe look. So it should look something like that. It gets a little uneven sometimes, like not every curl looks the exact same but I don't know once it's set like I feel like no matter how I crimp or curl my hair after it's set for like I can wear this hairstyle I'm not even joking you for like five to seven days straight it's kind of gross but this hairstyle doesn't get greasy on me I feel like because there's so much texture and volume that if there is any greasiness on your hair you're not gonna notice Clamping it away from your face and getting it as close to your roots as you possibly can and then holding out the ends. And definitely spray some of that texture spray as you go along too. In that third and last part and sectioning off, you know, just so it's a smaller section because I want to do a middle part and that will help make that section a lot cleaner by taking a smaller section. So honestly, this is a pretty easy hairstyle to do. Um, I really like wearing this style as of recent because I feel like there's so many different hairstyles that you can do. As you let it go for a couple of days, you can put it in like a messy top knot 
or you can put it in some space buns or even just a, like a ponytail. I feel like it has enough texture in there that makes it look cute and messy at the same time, but also like your hair is really unwashed. Um, but hey, throw some dry shampoo in there and call it a day. Honestly, I think it works so well. Make sure to get that really close to my roots and just make sure to hold out those ends. And these are where I like to spend the most precise time on, um, you know, basically because this is the part you're gonna see the most. You can see right here, I do have these little pieces that I cut in the front because I like to have some hair to pull out if I do wear like my hair half up, um, just so I can have some little face framing pieces, not like a bang, but kind of similar pieces like that. So once all your hair is curled, just re-spray some texturizing spray on there. I don't usually try to brush it out with my fingers right away. I kind of let it set in my hair for a while until it's really cooled down. So yeah, guys, that is all I do to style my hair like this. Um, I have been really into crimping my hair. I've been very into this curling iron as of within the last year. I think it's a great purchase for under 30 bucks. You absolutely cannot beat it. I'm going to also insert in this video some clips of different hairstyles you can definitely do and some of the ones that I've been really into wearing. And just like I said, like I will wear this hairstyle for like a day or two just like this or flip it around like I do my hair sometimes like that move it around either side, um, kind of make it messy, like wherever the heck I think it looks cool. However you part your hair to the side, like you can really be extremely universal with this. Okay guys, it's been about like four days since I filmed that video and I said I was going to do like some extra hairstyles with that. Um, I never got around to it that day. So I'm going to show you guys, and this actually works better so you guys can see what my hair looks like. Um, I haven't washed my hair in about four days, so this is it. Like, it still has a lot of that wave in it. Um, it has good shape, good texture. Like I said, I like it almost better when it's been a couple days of, you know, crimping it and letting it be. And then I just put a bunch of dry shampoo in it yesterday, and I put even more dry shampoo in it today. So yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty uh, texturized now. But like I said, I haven't curled my hair. Um, since about four days ago. Um, the next day after that, I did retouch some of the curls around my face just so, you know, some of them kind of fall out. Um, so that's definitely something you have to keep in mind is maybe you do have to touch it up a little bit, but honestly, at least in my hair, the texture stays in really well. Um, anyways, I'm going to start with a middle part here and I'm basically going to make messy space bun. So I like to take a section from my eyebrow, basically where it starts to arch. Take a little section like that and just secure it with an elastic, just like this. Um, wrap it around a couple times. And I don't really know the exact technique for space buns, but this is how I like to do it. Um, so I just create it by taking the ponytail knot all the way through. And then I make it messy, fluffy, and then I pull out these little hairs like this to make it more full. Um, and then sometimes I'll take some pieces out in the front as well to give some framing around the face. The hardest part for me is making sure that they're even because why does one side always look better than the other? I don't know, but it usually happens to me. So this is kind of like a fun look that you could wear like if you went out or I don't know, just change it up a little bit. You could go in and crimp more of these pieces if you wanted to, but like with my hair, I really didn't have to do that. The look that I like to do sometimes is just take one of my many 5,000 pins here and then just take it and put it on the side of my hair. It just kind of dresses up the look a little bit. You can match it to your outfit. But I have so many pins and I think they're really on trend right now. Um, every time I go to like Marshalls or Target, I'm always looking at their pins and I usually do always buy some or people get me them as gifts because they know I just love them. So that's a really cute, fun, easy look. I like to do also like a half up, half down. So I just take like the top of my hair here, um, 
however much you want in like a ponytail. You can use a ponytail holder. I like to use these coils a lot. These are great for my hair. I love using those. Um, or you can take a giant scrunchie, put it right up on there. Super easy. Looks fun. Looks like you tried, but you really didn't. Um, pull out some of this hair on the top here to give it more volume. Um, pinching your hair just like this really adds a lot of volume in your hair. So I do this look all the time, basically on my third or fourth hair day because it looks cute. It looks fun. Um, but you really have like dirty hair on the top and you can just sort of dress it up and it looks pretty fun. So this other style that I've been doing, I learned it from TikTok from this really sweet girl who does hair videos. She's a cosmetology student. I'll link her um, below on the description box. She has some really cute hairstyles and I'm always trying to like reincorporate them because she has the same exact length as my hair and she does the cutest styles. I actually take out these like small little pieces here so I can have something in the front. And what she said in the video is just go basically from the arch of your brow and go back just a little bit, maybe about two inches and then make a square. You take another section about two inches back, make another square, and you connect these two here. And as you go through each ponytail, just make sure you kind of pull out some hair to make it texturized. And then taking a third one and going back here, it should look something just like that. Like I said, on my birthday, I took some pins and I just put it like on the top there. You can really dress it up put things in there. Um, I have these cute butterfly pins. You could put those in there like, I don't know, just kind of like, like that or something. Really cute, fun, easy look. You just kind of have to get the hang of going backwards on your hair, but I love doing this look. I think it's really cute and not too hard to do. And I cannot braid my own hair. Um, I sometimes will have my friend do two braids going back. She's really good at that and she's not even a hairstylist. Um, and I make her do that for me because you'd think as a hairstylist, I would know how to braid my hair. Um, but I don't, it's really complicated for me. I suck at braids. So these just kind of look like you know how to do a style like that, but you didn't have to braid your hair basically. So as you can tell, that's just a really cute fun look. Um, I don't know how many times I'm going to say the word cute slash fun look, but this is just another style you can incorporate with a hairstyle like this. Honestly, guys, you could do all these styles on straight or curled hair, but since I've just been doing my hair a lot like this, I've been having fun playing with the texture on that. So here's the top of it. I love it. Sorry if you see some of my gray hairs. Yes, I have gray hairs and it really sucks, but I don't feel like dyeing my hair because I just did it, I swear. That my hair just grows so quickly <laughs> honestly guys if you are into ponytails um i've noticed that having some extra texture in your hair just like this is really cute and easy for a ponytail um i just obviously make a low one because my hair can't go in a high ponytail but it definitely can go in a small one so i just took one of my coils and just pinch your hair spray it up a little bit pull some pieces out um i mean sometimes I just wear my hair like this because I'm over it and I want it completely out of my face. So if you're a ponytail type of girl, try putting in some of these waves in your hair and then just putting in the ponytail. I swear it makes your ponytail look 10 times cuter and it looks like you tried a lot harder on it. <laughs> and on that same topic as those little bubble braids or whatever those are called that I just did where I did the three down the row. Um, I actually did this, if you guys go to my Instagram, uh, at Carly Ray Lewis, I have it linked down below here. Uh, I did like a Valentine's Day photo shoot and I never wear my hair fully back, but I crimped my hair and it was really cute, but I wanted something that looked very like edgy and grunge looking. So I took basically bubble braids and I learned this from the same girl on TikTok and she has short hair and she takes the bubble braids all the way down to the back of her hair here. So I will show you guys how to do that as well. Basically, you're just gonna take larger pieces of your hair, larger square sections, and you're just going to ponytail them all together, basically the same as we just did.
I'm sure it's not very precise at all, but I was just throwing them in. But you can see how cute that is. I never really thought my hair would go in pigtails, nor did I ever imagine that would be a style again, but I guess it is. And I actually really like this. I think it's so, so, so adorable. Funky, fun, very grunge looking. I love it. I got my hair's really gonna hurt after this, guys, but do it for the YouTube, right? So yeah, guys, that is all I can think about for hairstyles that I've been doing. I don't think there's any more. But like I said, get creative with it. It's kind of fun to do different hairstyles. I get so bored with my hair, so it's fun to change it up by doing a different look on it. Let me know if you guys like hair videos. I can definitely incorporate those a little bit more as well. And if you have any questions about how this tool works, the hair crimper, let me know in the comments. If you guys have any questions or concerns or need any more little advice on how to crimp your hair let me know um but thank you guys so much for watching please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already